I love the fact that Blender is an open source application because of all the add-ons being produced by a large number of great developers and even just some artists like you and me, which while seeking ways to improve their workflows, come up with ways to work more efficiently by creating add-ons, allowing them to invest more time in the creative part. Welcome to my new video series called I'm a Cheater, I Use Add-ons, in which I will be covering the add-ons I like to use and for this video, we will talk about my favorite add-on for sculpting, the Sculpt Plus Paint Wheel. Are you ready? Let's get to it. Hello everyone, I'm Nemesis from Ngo85. Welcome to my channel. Please don't let the name of this video series trick you. I just like how it sounds. Using add-ons is way far from cheating. In fact, I think not using them is cheating to yourself. Our time should be used to let our minds flow and come up with the best creative work. Anything else, we can leave it to our precious add-ons, like Sculpt plus Paint Well. This add-on saves me a ton of time when working in Sculpt mode. If you have watched some of my previous videos, you have seen me using it, and some of you have even asked me about it, and that is why I wanted to start this video series with this add-on. I will be showcasing the add-on and how I use it rather than dropping this as a tutorial, but you may take out of this a general idea of how to use it and why I like it so much. With this intro out of the way, let's get to work. Sculpt Plus Paint Wheel is an efficiency add-on developed by JF Matthew and you can find it in Blender Market for $26.50. In basic terms, this add-on provides an on-screen circular menu allowing you to pick tools without having to navigate to the different panels where such tools are available. When you realize how often you have to travel to the different panels to pick different tools and brushes, you notice how beneficial it is to have an add-on like this, because in the long run, you will save a ton of time. You can access the Sculpt Plus Paint wheel by pressing the space bar and according to the mode in which you invoke the menu, you will have different modes. The add-on can be used in Weight Paint, Vertex Paint and Sculpt mode. In Weight Paint mode, you will be presented with a radial slider with the weight color, a gesture pad to control the size and strength of your tools. You will also have settings, properties and operators in the middle wheel. Within the weight paint, we have the weight paint and the grease pencil weight paint. The next mode is the paint wheel. This one can be used in different modes like texture paint, grease pencil draw, grease pencil vertex and vertex mode. Basically, this wheel is a color picker and apart from this, you can also control the size and strength of your brushes. I barely use the weight and paint wheel and that is why I kept this part short so we can focus on the best mode of this add-on, the Sculpt Wheel. The Sculpt Wheel has different parts, the tool set, edit mode, the ring of brushes, the gesture pad and the custom pie menu. The ring of brushes stores all of the brushes you have in your tool set. In the end panel under wheel settings, we have the option of displaying the name of the brush. We also have the option to add color to the brush icon. This can be just an outline color or can be a background color. I leave it the way it is by default. The tool set is used to store your different sets of brushes. In the end panel, we can find some important information and settings. The option to create new tool set the name of the toolset, as well as brushes within the toolset. We also have a menu to export them. To add a brush to our toolset, it is as simple as choosing the brush and press the Add Active Brush. I'm not sure how many brushes you can add to a toolset, but I know you can have a limit of 12 toolsets. I like to have the first toolset for the default Blender brushes, having the ones I use more often. The rest of the tool sets are for my custom brushes. I have different sets with Alpha and VDM brushes. Just a quick one, if you guys want to see my process to make Alpha and VDM brushes, you can check these two videos I have right here in my channel. I will leave the link in the description. With that said, let's get back to the main topic of this video, I'm out. With the edit mode, we can move our brushes to place them in the most comfortable way based on our needs. 
you just need to drag the brushes around. I like to have on the top half of the wheel the brushes I use the most. In edit mode, by taking a brush and dragging it outside the wheel, we can remove it from the tool set. This operation can also be done in the end panel. The custom pie menu has a set of operations that will also save you time since you will not need to go and open tabs on the header. By default, you will find menus for the stroke settings and brush falloff, as well as for masking, inverting, sharpening, smoothing and removing the mask, and settings for texture and remeshing. In the end panel, we have the custom buttons list and the panel to create new buttons. You can add more operations using the list of presets or by creating your own using Blender's operators. We can add icons from the 700 plus list provided with the add-on or use your own. You also have the option to remove any unwanted operation. The content in the custom pie menu will be the same across the different tool sets. I keep it as default because for other operations like mask extract, symmetrize or face sets from visible, I use a pie menu but I'm planning to add them to the wheel instead. Let's talk about the gesture pad. This one has two main sets of skills, a passive and an active skill. The passive skill is used when hovering over any of the icons within the wheel by displaying the name of this one. The active skill is activated by clicking on the gesture pad and dragging the mouse up or down to increase or decrease the size of the brush or clicking and dragging the mouse left or right to increase or decrease the strength of the brush. You can also hold the shift key while using the gesture pad to slowly increase or decrease the size or strength of the brush as well as pressing the control key to do this in increments. In the gesture pad, I only use the option for increasing or decreasing the strength. Those coming to the channel for a while or watch my video about peripherals know that I use a PS3 nav controller in Blender. In this one, I already have a button dedicated to control the size of the brush. I find this size preview better than the one in the sculpt wheel add-on. The add-on gives you the option to save your sets as global toolset to be used across different blend files. I have my personal default blender preference saved, so I'm not really using this option. As I said before, the add-on will allow you to export your toolset, which is something I recommend doing from time to time in case you need to roll back your brushes. Apart from this, the add-on has different options like size of the icons and radius of the wheel. We can set our preferred hotkey and more. I can see myself without this add-on. I really like how easy it is to use and how much time I save as well as how comfortable can be when you don't need to extend your arm over the tool panel, especially if you are right-handed like me. The tool is great as it is, but I would like to see more updates with new features. I especially would like to have more tool sets. The developer is very quick and helpful when you need assistance. Please bear in mind that the developer is currently working on the add-on to release an update to make it work with Blender 4.3 and up. This is something to consider since you will need to work with previous versions of Blender if you want to take advantage of this add-on. And that's it guys for this video. What do you think about this add-on? Do you think it will be a good addition to your tool belt? Remember, I will leave the link in the description. If you enjoy the content, please consider to like, share and subscribe. And if you have any suggestions to improve the channel, please let me know down below in the comment section. Thank you for watching and see you soon.